There are all kinds of different accidents that happen in amusement parks. Still, people hurry there and they dream of riding on a roller coaster. So many children have died or even been injured in this Six Flags Great Adventure theme park. So let's learn more about it. Welcome back to Infamous Incidents. To experience more scary accidents, share, like, and subscribe to our channel. The El Toro roller coaster at the Six Flags Great Adventure theme park in Jackson Township, New Jersey, sent five riders to the hospital. Despite the fact that their wounds were minor, the tragedy is likely to bring up the issue of theme park safety in the United States once more. Especially considering that the attraction was previously shut down after a partial derailment in 2021. The great majority of guests leave the 27 Six Flags Park in North America with nothing more than fond memories and trinkets, or at the very least, some queasy feelings. As Six Flags' as Vice President of Security, Safety, Health and the Environment, Jason Freeman stated to CNBC, You're more likely to get injured on your way to a theme park in your car than you are at a theme park. In addition, he said that, when you look at the 157 million rides that we deliver in a year, and when you look at us versus other industries, you'll see that we are a very safe industry. However, a number of significant occurrences, some with tragic outcomes, have been reported at Six Flags amusement parks over the years. On May 11th, 1984, at the Six Flags Great Adventure Park in New Jersey, the same location as Thursday's accident, the company's deadliest single tragedy ever occurred. A spooky castle in the park that lacked sprinklers or smoke alarms caught fire and killed eight teens. Six Flags Corporation President Dan P. Howell stated that no park policies had been broken following the accident. We believe we were in compliance with all of the codes. We believe we took the necessary steps to protect the public. But the tragedy happened anyway, he added at the press conference. Following a two-month trial, Six Flags Great Adventure Amusement Park and Six Flags were both found not guilty of manslaughter and aggravated manslaughter. Nevertheless, they later paid $2.5 million to the families of the deceased. Since it opened in 1971, Six Flags Magic Mountain in Valencia, California has seen a number of catastrophes. In April 2004, Bentita Raksha Maroon, a 21-year-old park employee, was killed while operating a test run of the Scream roller coaster just before the park opened for the day. Why Raksha Maroon was on the tracks is unknown. The LA County Sheriff's Department conducted an investigation, which led to the conclusion that it was a terrible accident. The park issued a statement stating that the safety and security of our guests and employees is our number one priority. 20-year-old Carol Flores perished in 1978 after tumbling from Magic Mountain's Colossus roller coaster. Colossus was shut down for a year after the accident in order to make repairs and replace all of the outdated carriages. Firefighters at Magic Mountain had to rescue a bear in May after it crept onto the park's rear lot and became wedged between two vehicles. A crew from the government organization California Fish and Game tranquilized the bear before moving it. According to the Global Association for the Attractions Industry, one in every 15.5 million rides on a fixed site attraction at a US theme park results in a major accident. In 400 locations, it oversees hosts more than 1.7 billion theme park rides annually, according to the industry body. Also, there were different accidents that occurred here. A 67-year-old park staffer died at Le Vampire on July 6, 2012. The worker, who appeared to have suffered head damage, was apparently discovered underneath the attraction in a restricted location. According to park officials, the employee was hit by a roller coaster train. The worker was declared dead at the site, while another person was brought to a hospital for trauma therapy. Officials at the park stated that the ride was functioning regularly, and that procedures for entering restricted ride zones, including notified ride personnel, had not been followed. However, they did not know why the employee entered the restricted part of the ride while it was in operation. On August 25, 2019, 
As one of the trains was starting its initial ascent, a passenger's safety harness failed, leading to an emergency stop. The supermanage's safety sensors stopped the train's initial ascent. The roller coaster closed soon after, then planned on this, its final day of operation. To continue their park visit, all visitors were removed from the area. A 16-year-old girl experienced problems after riding the roller coaster on September 22, 2001. She sadly passed away after being transferred to Prince George's Hospital Center. Her demise was brought on by a pre-existing heart problem, according to an autopsy. When one of the ride supports started to tremble on June 20, 2021, the ride had to be stopped immediately. No injuries were recorded and all of the passengers were evacuated. The attraction reopened on July 13th of 2021 after being temporarily closed for inquiries. Families should take advantage of the opportunity to visit the nearby theme parks during spring break and summer vacation. Even for happy events, many businesses appreciate these attractions. Everyone enjoys the sensation of entering a different world and getting away from the stress of daily life, from the photo possibilities to the food and thrilling rides. However, the likelihood of an injury at an amusement park rises continuously along with the number of visitors. Why does this happen? Even though amusement parks follow strict safety checks and guidelines, accidents and fatalities nevertheless happen frequently. The National Electronic Injury Surveillance System NEISS, estimates that more than 36,000 injuries occur each year, almost half of which involve children. When compared to the 335 million people who successfully ride 1.8 billion theme park rides each year, this number includes the fixed ride theme park attractions, water rides, inflatable rides, and fair rides. The Federal Consumer Product Safety Commission CPSC, asserts that many of these injuries share a common factor. However, the government lacks the power to control fixed-site amusement parks like Disney or Six Flags, so the extent of the sector of service is constrained. Only portable rides, such as those at fairs and carnivals, are regulated by the CPSC. There are laws governing fixed-site rides in some states. Other parks use insurance providers to confirm compliance. Nevertheless, faulty ride operation, mechanical failure, passenger misuse, and the nature of the ride all contribute to numerous injuries. If you or a loved one suffers an injury at an amusement park, what starts out as a pleasant day of making memories turns into a nightmare. Millions of tourists count on ride operators to do their job with the utmost care and attention, but ride after ride, hour after hour, complacency sets in. Losing a life is possible with even the smallest amount of carelessness. On average, 8,000 individuals are hurt on amusement park rides each year. The Federal Consumer Product Safety Commission CPSC, provided these figures. High amounts of cerebral stress caused by excessive speed can result in traumatic brain injury. An injury can also result from detached objects striking at a person's head. People can sustain various cuts, torn ligaments, and broken bones. These incidents really break your heart. What do you think? Do you want to shut this monster up? Do comment your thoughts down below, and feel free to support our channel by clicking the like and subscribe buttons. To get notifications about our upcoming videos, hit that bell icon too.